Guys, so just so I'm super clear, this man is Matt Welch. I started with Matt when I was a white belt. I was over 300 pounds. And Matt, to us, is and it was and is a master of submissions, wrestling, and he taught me that neck cranks are way worse than any <laughs> choke or arm bar you can imagine. So if you guys don't know who this man is, I'm telling you who he is. And he's an, an amazing guy and honor for him to be Thanks for coming. Yeah, for sure. All right, so let's go. Let's take these guys out. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready for this part. Matt's got an injury. So I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give an extra. That's true. Because now that's the face when I could be facing when you come to the adults class again, you know. So it's a time to share with your friends, with your partners, you know, the students as well. This moment, you know, it's a lot that we have been through together, and it's a lot more to go, you know. Like I said, like this is just a piece of a cloth, you know. If you don't have the knowledge, if you don't have the the character, doesn't mean anything. But at the same time, means a lot because the people who has been here, you get the respect. You know what the value that he has, you know. But like I always say that as well, the most important belt is your white belt because you took the courage to come in and start something new, and then from that one, you have to keep it. In like a, you see a lot of blue belts that we make a joke. There is a planet that all the blue belts, talent blue belts, they are there. Because it's a feeling that you have accomplished something. You start to understand jiu-jitsu. But until you get this, like that you start relearning everything. It's a non-stop process, in infinite, you know? Like I've been doing this for 30 years and it's still something new all the time to, to learn. So never take a belt and next step like, oh, I achieved, I'm done, I'm the greatest, you know? <laughs> no, that's never gonna happen. You gotta keep evolving, you gotta keep it looking for the next step, for the next move, create a new move, you know, that's uh, that's the beauty of Jiu-Jitsu. So keep that in mind, okay? Let's go guys, round of applause for Mario. Woo! Mario. And thank you for everything, my man. Thank you for all the help with the kids, everything, with the people in the gym. It's amazing to have you, man. Yeah, Mario. Go. <laughs> you got this.
Alright guys, perfect. Go ahead, my man. Oh I can't look at my mom. I'm gonna look at I'm gonna look at Jonathan. Uh I put my first gi on, I think I was around 11 years old, man, I'm 43. And like coach said, jumping around, you know, becoming a dad, like, you know, life gets in the way, keeping it real, right? And, but here I am, probably the biggest thing I'll ever do. And I'm totally okay with that, you know what I mean? Uh, so I'm very, uh, very proud of that. Uh, thank you so much to, my coaches, um, I mean, it's a debt that's impossible to repay. Coach, is, is, you know, and, and, and Matt. Um, and there's a whole lot of coaches that aren't here that uh, deserve the same recognition to help me get, get, get where I'm at. Um, so I'll, t I'll tell you a quick story when I first started Jiu-jitsu, you know, I was I was already a badass karate guy, you know what I mean? And like, oh, there's no way these little little dudes can beat me up, you know. And I learned the hard way immediately that none of that means nothing when you hit the floor. I remember getting tapped like six or seven times in my first round uh, on a full contact fight. So it was anything goes. And right away I learned to a superior art form of martial arts and and I needed it and it had to be for me and I was 13 years ago uh, and I, 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 I kept going but one thing that sticks out to me more than anything when you start in karate on Japanese systems and you meet these instructors they tell you you know how do I how do I dress you sensei Senpai, Shihan, uh, the Chinese arts uh, master, and even like grandmaster, that's the titles these guys demanded from you, right? But then you go train Jiu Jitsu, and I meet Matt for the first time in so many years, and I see Matt's a, a, a badass dude. I say, what do I call you? And he goes, I'm just Matt, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and then I met Charles McCarthy, what do I call you? So what, what you've been calling me? Charles, right? Jay-Z, what do I call you? Uh, Jay-Z is, but nobody can say my name, so they call me Jay-Z. <laughs> and that just shows amazing men and, and ladies that could kill you in a heartbeat if they, if they wanted to do so, but, but they don't need to. They don't have that ego. They don't have that. They don't need to be that way. And they're very humble with how amazing that they are. So not only did I then want the skill, I wanted that. I wanted that. I wanted to be able to say, hey, I don't need to be aggressive. I don't need to be a tough guy with you. I, I could just be me and I'm Mario and let's train and have fun. And if I need to, I'd choke your ass out too. That's the dude. So yeah, that's the amazing part of Jiu Jitsu that got me hooked and, and, and forced me to stay and keep going. And guys, like uh, one thing, we we'll always learn, you know? Even that I'm his professor, you know? I learned a lot from him. Like I said, Mario, uh, Jason also is another guy that when I saw him with his kids, we are talking about family now, he's talking about being a dad. You guys became a dad like the last few years. The way they bring the kids to the match, you know? Like, it's amazing. That's the bond that I have, that, that I wanna have with my kids. You know, like I, where I see my partner there now, Daniel, if he her daughter, we, which is always here, you know. Yeah. That's the thing. That's because something's for life. It's not just about training. It's not just about being a badass. It's about like, okay, be the best person that you can be. And you know this brings that out of you, you know. Whenever you get tapped by somebody smaller, and then we learn the humility, like being humble. You know, like when you win or lose, you got to be humble. You got to be, because you know something can happen to you. Any, any given day, you know? So it's amazing. Man, congratulations. Thanks, Max, for coming. Thank you for yeah. sharing this. All right, guys, let's go. Woo! Let me take my kids real quick. One more, sorry. My, my son, Louis, and, and my son, Nico, uh, 
without you guys, I wouldn't be here. Because the, the drive and the focus I have to bring you guys here brings me here too. And that got me my black belt. So, and thanks for the wife who drew because that is oh, I'm oh, 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 oh. the My arm, my arm's just broken from standing here. <laughs> so, my wife of 28 years, 15 years old, training uh, karate in the dojo, and my wife sat right there and watched. Now they know my age. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't realize this, but her presence there. Man, I was kicking faster, punching harder, trying not to get knocked out because she was there. And that made me better, a better person. I, I couldn't be here without you, without your support. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's my mom back there, guys. Without mom, it's impossible. And she knew, she knew before I knew the importance of martial arts and training not just for self-defense, but for character, like Jay-Z said, and uh, to make you a better person, have honor and, and respect. So that, that's, that's because of my mom. And a story about my mom, when she was a teenager, she trained judo. She trained judo, but she trained in secret. And she loved it. She would work and take care of her sisters and her brother, and then she would go train in secret because her family didn't approve. But one day she was pulled out of the dojo. She was pulled out and told she could never train again. She's a teenager. And the worst part is she never went back. She never trained again. Her family led her to believe that it was wrong and inappropriate for her. And I can't imagine what that feels like to be told I can't do the thing that I love to do. It breaks my heart. She's my, uh, <clears throat> she's my hero. And uh, I love her very much. So when we, when we talk about the belts, the coach says the belt is symbolic and I totally agree with you. I'm not disregarding what you're saying. It is symbolic, it's just cloth and thread, right? But the fact is, on the shelf, it's cloth. On me, it's so much more. This, this is the most important thing I own, and we pretend like we don't care about the material possessions, but we do. We do, right? And I'll prove it. Try to take Jay-Z's bell right now by force and see if he doesn't choke you out immediately. Uh, so even though this is the most important thing I own and the biggest accomplishment I've ever had. I gotta take it off. I'm sorry. It's okay, dude. It's yours. And I have to present this belt to the only grandmaster I know, and that's my mom. Come here, come here. That's great. So we all go, we all bow down. Go on your knees, guys. That's an amazing story. Thanks for being able to pass it just to a kid because he helps much more kids as well and everybody else here. So thank you. Um grande honor para mi mamá. Te la amo mucho. Te la agradezco todo. I was 17 on that time. 17. When I started here. And I was. When I got yellow belt. Sí, no va a cansar, se lo prometo.
chơi nữa Pico, look over there. Take a picture. Pico, Louis. One second, one second. Oh my God. One second. It's more. Thank you. Thank you. Nico. Put me in the cinta para que me tome foto.